Do you really need to take a refrigerator with you when you go out on trips? Is it really that necessary? We're gonna talk about that today. Hi and welcome to Big Man Overland. My name is Aaron and today we are going to be talking about portable refrigeration. You know many times when we go out and we go camping we're taking an ice chest full of ice and maybe very little bit of food and maybe for some of us we're doing a portable cooler which is basically just like an ice chest but with a fan in it. Others are investing in refrigeration and there's so many different refrigerator options. You've got Dometic, ARB, Iceco, Costway and so many others. You can spend a lot of money or you can be budget friendly. But is there really a right option? I compared the Iceco JP40 against the Dometic CFX 3045. And at the end of this episode, I'm gonna let you know which one I chose and why. Now, the Iceco JP40 is a really good option. It's a budget friendly option coming in around $550. It's not too bad for a 40 liter fridge. It doesn't have a whole lot of power consumption. It is a little bit more than others, but it's, it's a great travel option for a good amount of food and beverage, and you can avoid all the ice from an ice chest. You have the Dometic CFX 345, which is a 45 liter refrigerator, and that is a top of the line option. It is incredible. The design, the insulation, the compressor on it. I mean, it is meant to have very little power draw. I mean, it sips energy and it keeps things cold almost spot on. It's a really impressive product, but it's not exactly budget friendly. You're looking at upwards of a thousand dollars for the 45 liter. Now for me, family of five, I need a lot of space. So a 28 liter or a 35 liter just isn't enough, but I don't quite need a 50 liter or up to even a hundred liter. So I was looking for around that 40 to 45 liter option, which is why I looked at the Iceco JP40 and the Medic CFX 345. Now, when I consider power consumption, I didn't want something that had a huge draw. I don't run a dual battery system. I have a power bank. Uh, with solar panels and, and I really wanted to be able to charge the power bank while I'm driving, the fridge feeding off of that power bank as I'm driving, and then overnight the fridge plugs into that power bank and stays running and cool overnight. So I needed something that had very little power draw to it. On the other hand, I really didn't need something that was so well insulated that it could withstand the temperatures of 120 degrees like you would have in the deserts if you're traveling through Southern California or if you're going through Arizona and New Mexico. Those aren't our primary overlanding locations. We tend to remain in the mountains, high elevation. You know, we're at five, 6,000 feet plus for most of our trips. So having a well insulated refrigerator wasn't a huge priority. And so as we looked between the Iceco and the Dometic and we balanced the power consumption of each and we balanced the cost of each, we went with the Iceco JP40. The reason we went with the Iceco is because of the cost. We were able to buy a 40 liter refrigerator, a slide, an insulated bag, a power bank and solar panels for the same amount of money as just the fridge and a slide and an insulated cover for the diabetic alone cost. We wouldn't have been able to purchase a power bank and a solar panel or run a dual battery system inside of the Jeep. So from a cost effectiveness, the Iceco gave us far more for our needs than what the Dometic could do. Additionally, we remain, like I said, high altitude. So I don't need something that is built for the desert. It's just not somewhere that we go often. And if you're not going there, you may consider that you don't need that as well. So is a Dometic CFX3 worth it? Absolutely. It is a fantastic product. You really can't say anything negative about it. It's just not for us. And that's what you have to determine as you go out and camping. Do you have to have portable refrigeration? Absolutely not. Can you get by with a cooler? Yes, we did as a family five for a very long time. But because we're looking at extended trips and further locations, a fridge just makes more sense for us. So don't wait until you have the money to go out and adventure. 
If you have a cooler, fill it up and go out and explore or get yourself a powered cooler or if your budget allows, get yourself a budget friendly portable refrigerator. Thank you so much for tuning in for this comparison of the Iceco JP40 versus the Dometic CFX345. To keep up to date with other product reviews, our trips and travels, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and like this video and share it. And just remember, adventure's calling. Are you going to answer?